Natural man musk or something, he says. We're rolling it. We're rolling it. Oh. oh, okay. <laughs> Welcome to our show. This is not Suja with Rabke. This is Water with Song. And this is Sidepot number 17. And all these joints, <laughs> like always, joined by Kin Lipinso. I was like waiting for him, like, is he, like, is he okay? Fine. It is the first time you're watching Sidepod. This is a Sidepod for morons. And, sorry, a podcast for morons. And also, uh, it's a podcast about nothing. And we finally reached 1,000 subscribers! Yeah! Yes! 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 yes. And we're joined by our most popular guest, apparently. Tawa. <laughs> Tawa. Tawa. Yes. What makes you the most popular video so far? I don't know, cause like I thought like my video had like the lamest thumbnail. You didn't even edit anything in the background. Yeah, it was just blue back. It was like the second episode. It was. We, we were sort of progressing that time. Do you remember? Like at first, yeah. almost every. Well, see, everyone after me had like a custom background. What did you it was like? just you and Doctor. What, what did you like in the back? Oh man. No, like, take notes. We have to put something in the back. I don't know, probably something relevant from the episode as it goes on, maybe. I don't know, something... I don't know, just anything. At no, love will be created. I'm sorry, it is just like a little bit of... Here. Thanks. Call me by your name. Pick right. And I'll right. call you by yours. Pick right, right. right. Okay. That's it. <laughs> call me by your gay. I'm just waiting for that soundtrack from that website to play. Which one? Ah, that one. That, that. So anyway, since the last time we spoke to you, what's been going on? I see you got a haircut. Feels very inspired by something. I mean, someone said I should try to look more mature. And then I was like, okay. So you went for sleaze bag. Does it look like it? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I Someone said I look like a stereotypical Asian dad. No. No. no I, don't I? No. Oh, all right. Never mind. What is a stereotypical Asian dad? Yeah, because Asia co- comprises of so many countries. Well, they all, each they, one has their they, own stereotypical they, Usually dad. they all say the same shit. You know, it's like... You talk to me when you're doctor? No, it's like, look, you like you hand in your report card or something and then it things. Son, look at this. This is disappointing. You got an A-. minus. I'm not saying I'm mad, I'm just disappointed, okay? When your mom and I came here to this country with... You immigrant dad? Do- it's something like that, it's usually like that, right? Okay, so you look like the stereotypical Asian dad who's an immigrant. Yeah, or you, I mean, you use whatever story you can to like make the kid feel guilty, right? It's like, yeah, your mom and I work so hard or something. Mm-hmm. You know, you leverage whatever you can. You, you, and then if you want, you could even like bring in your grandparents and be like, Oh, when they came, or like when they went through the revolution. When they came, that's ah, you, you say that. Ah, you, you say that. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> when I was your age, I was fighting in the Korean War, climbing a mountain with the donkey yeah, yeah, on my yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, like that. Uh-huh. Something so, like that. So, <laughs> so their grandparents are Uncle Roger. Um, yeah. Uncle Roger doesn't talk like that. He talks like this. Uncle oh wait, do you know about the controversy he got into? He yeah, got he apparently got beaten up by some dude on the yeah, street because yeah. they said that he was being racist. Not that, the oh, other the, one, the politically no, charged one. one. I didn't know that, which one is it? Uh, man, it feels like it's so long ago, but uh, he got into trouble because I, I think like He's, he's known for making jokes and everything, right, mm-hmm. Uncle Roger? But like uh, he got into trouble because I think he tried to make fun of China or something and then some really suspicious things started happening and everyone was like, this isn't the Uncle Roger we know, but you know, he, he just waited till it all died down and now he's back. What, what kind of suspicious thing happened? Well, he probably made fun of China, China and then China probably hacked his... 
some it was very suspicious the things he was saying and the things he was doing and everyone tried to kept trying to tell him like just tell us the truth and he was like it's probably like gosh, blink gosh, if gosh. you're being held captive like is it that There's nothing situation? going on. yeah it was very like like blink twice if yeah, you're being held captive yeah but the whole issue is like you know it's like oh but you sell yourself as being completely authentic and everything right but here you are being crushed by the mighty thumb of government or something or maybe he says something or maybe something, yeah. I don't I don't even watch his latest right. stuff so I I I've actually stuff. not watched a lot of his stuff. I know about him, I just haven't watched you his stuff. Watched I watched him before he became viral. Yeah. He did the Oh, I watched him before I watched him was cool, they eh, say. No, sir, no, I didn't know him because that viral <laughs> sir. Because I have like Reddit page and someone shared me like Asian man reviews Jimmy all no, lady making rice over there. Oh, that it's that what is that Indonesian fried rice one? No, no, how, how to cook rice one. Oh. It was Indian lady who no, cooks rice and she criticizes her then he blew up. Then he started doing Jamie Oliver videos. Mm. Because Jamie Oliver is a professional cook, but he knows how to cook. She's like, he's he's ruining the recipes, no? Mm. Like ramen, he uses soba noodles. Mm. Oh, like, never, you, never use soba noodles. Do you wash your rice? Yes. Yes. All right. Do, do you, you not wash your rice? I don't eat rice. Oh yeah, this guy's like really big on bread. Yeah, I could just eat bread and butter. So like on, on, on carbs, carbs was just bread. You don't eat rice. He doesn't the big I mean the biggest you know like this how about if you go for a dinner and there's no real rice is a staple there so what do you do just just the same one usually i look usually there's like roti as a you know but let's say there is it then you just they then just eat the pie and nothing else there but he does carry a emergency loaf of bread <laughs> For no, such an occasion, like, he just like whips it out. You know like, those oh, vendors that like eat the bamboo and yeah. then... Then they shoot and leave? Uh, yes. Uh, I'm like that, but like with bread, like you could find me. But me also, like, I love yeah. bread. I love, I used to eat bread and butter every morning when I was a kid. For what more do you need? Never got into bread. I mean, I can eat it and I don't think it's the most, I don't, but I don't know, I, like, like from like, you know, you, you grew up eating rice. So when I do eat bread, I don't feel like I'm full, which is kind of weird because bread is technically quite a, it's quite heavy. I guess it's, it's a it's a what's what's the word? It's uh, conditioning. No, no, it's a carb which burns slowly, so it, it it make you full throughout the day. I do not feel full. While as if you eat like oatmeal, no, it'll burn very fast in your system. I actually enjoy oatmeal more. I like bread. oatmeal, but then it's a healthy snack. It's a healthy meal because it has good or good nutrients and it burns fast, no? yeah. while as bread doesn't burn. What you, what's your thoughts on oatmeal? It's great for horses. Oatmeal is great, man. But yeah, but it, 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 like, it looks like puke. No, I find a lot of people don't like, like oatmeal. I mean, yeah, <laughs> it looks like puke, but this, it like if you put raisins and bananas, it's nice. Yeah, I don't know. I put like vegetables. Like I actually like. Oh, um, you make a savory one. I no, make yeah, sweet. I don't like sweet oatmeal. Like Tenzin sweet. and whenever Tenzin makes oatmeal, she always like puts in a lot of vegetables, like yeah. a little bit of broccoli, carrots. No, and all that's, 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 that's way better. It's like eating. Uh, it's like it's like eating really weird thup. <laughs> okay. I like make me this is in bed. Put Why some would raisins, you put raisins? some banana, okay, put bananas, I, I it, yeah. and if I if I get protein Play powder more. also, I can put protein powder and eat. But but that that was when I was like trying to be serious about my diet and exercise. Mm. But now like fuck whatever is there, I drink water for breakfast. So I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that does anything for it though. Oh. Okay, Dao, you had a hot take on fruits. Let's yeah. Say. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> I guess that's our seamless this thing. seamless transition. <laughs> seamless. That's what we're it's all about seamless. here. Yes. Uh, I think strawberries look better than they taste. I agree. I, I think then, strawberry flavor tastes better than actual strawberry. I do not like strawberry. True, flavor. like I got like <laughs> I don't, you guys like strawberry. Fl- I do not like strawberry. Ice cream. No, no, like like I didn't eat strawberry ice cream, and I like it more than like just strawberry itself, mm-hmm. or like strawberry mm-hmm. syrup. Yeah. Just anything strawberry is almost better than the actual fruit itself. I I have to agree with that though because like strawberries they like look really. They they look so like yeah. uh, tantalizing, lustrous. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's why it is a, it is a, it is a sexy food. No? Yeah, it's, it's like a sexy food. Yeah, I, I mean that's. Yeah. Somebody told me that a watermelon is a berry. I think it's a berry. Watermelons and bananas technically are berries, whereas strawberry is not. Google right, that. Right, right, right. Okay, thank you for the random piece of knowledge. <laughs> no, but then it's kind of interesting because it's a strawberry, but then it's not a berry. Just like how a tomato is a vegetable. It's a fruit. It's a fruit. It's a fruit. Yeah, it's but is ketchup, uh, is ketchup a juice? <laughs> what was this? Is, is, is uh, cereal soup? Mm, it's, if it's, a sav- it's a sweet kind of soup. Is it a soup though? Is soup cereal? No. 
but it's cereal or soup. Oh wait, now you're now you're bringing back uh, this question I always had. What makes some, when is something a sandwich? When you put two mm, pieces of bread, 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 over it. bread over right? It. So it's a hot dog sandwich. Yes. All right. Uh, is it though? What yes. about a hamburger? Yes, it is. Actually. A hamburger is a sandwich. I would, I would classify. You it know why it's called a hamburger? Because it comes from Hamburg in Germany, and they make steak like that, and it's called a Hamburg steak. But it came to the US, and people people popularized that steak into two pieces of uh, bread, which was actually a sandwich, but it became a hamburger. So technically, hamburger hamburgers are a sandwich, but sandwich isn't a hamburger. All right. Now I heard someone say that what the only way something can be a sandwich is if the exposed side is what's facing out. What? Huh? You know, like like a hamburger. Mm -hmm has the exposed, you know, like the white part inside. Oh, the bread, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The, the cover, if you so know. So basically I mean. the more... It the, needs to the, face the outside. The crust is outwards. Yeah, whereas, the crust whereas, needs whereas to be with, outside. Uh, whereas with bread, either side, it's always white, right? Like either side is... Yeah, that's why like a sub is a sub and a, it's not exactly a sandwich. I think that, all That's the explanation I was heard, but then I thought... So if you took like a loaf of bread, mm. cut it horizontally, mm -hmm. and you put... Like is it a burger? It, <laughs> does it become a hamburger or something? No, well, hamburger is with with that with that quality of patty. It's a hamburg. It's a hamburg steak. So only hamburgers have, are those kind of. Type All right. Of so meat. I'll put like hamburger patties inside the loaf of bread. Technically, it is a burger then. Right. Hamburger. Technically, if oh. you want to go into technical. So by that logic, was the Swiss bakery hamburger a hamburger? Why? By which I mean I love the Swiss bakery burgers. I think it's, it's was a, it a hamburger though? It is a hamburger. Wait, so what if you replace the bun with like slices of bread? It's a sandwich. It's a sandwich. Okay. No, I think all of the burgers are sandwiches, even subs are sandwiches. But then hamburgers. They just what, what about a bagel? Are, Huh? Maybe sandwich is like the maybe let's say like a sandwich is the umbrella term. Just, no, 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 but like some people, no, like bagels, right? Some people cut. I've them never had that. a bagel. I don't even know Do, what a bagel it, is. It's like a donut. It's like a donut. It's yeah, like a donut with so bread. You slice it in half and then put if cheese. you're like uh, yeah, you you put cream cheese in it or, or butter. You, you put other seeds. whatever you want. Yeah, and you basically turn it into a sandwich. Yeah, and then you eat it. Is that a sandwich? I think then yeah, right. Yeah. Okay, then what do you do if it? What if you cut a donut that same way and put stuff in it? Because I've seen people do that with donuts. But donut is not a bread. It's a pastry. Ah. So it becomes a dessert. But then if it's a donut, but then I've seen people cut donuts, put meat inside it, put cheese inside it. I've seen people it's do that. Bagel. That is something called Maybe it's a bagel. Like indigestion. That's what it's called. Maybe it's a bagel. I have no, it's a donut. Maybe it's a bagel. I watch a lot of cooking okay, shows. Okay, trust fine, me. Fine. It's, a, it's a donut. Yeah. Why don't we have good donuts in Tempo? My sister makes really that's, good That's donuts. what I'm wondering, because all the donuts I go to the, oh, I won't say all, but most of the, the you know, bakeries I go and have a donut, it's really like hard. While as when you go like in abroad and have like Krispy Kreme or Mr. Donut, mm. so luscious. But no. maybe it's the quality of the dough as well. I mean, the flour that we get, mm. it could be that. I mean, if you go abroad, I'm sure people have, have you seen the kind of flour that people have on cooking shows? You don't get those here. Maybe I'm It's like all-purpose flour, baking flour, this flour. I'm like, aren't all of them just flour again? No, apparently. But then no, so I think over here we don't have that selection. Ah, maybe so it's maybe, a flour. No. Maybe and that's it's, it's not the, flour also. I was pronouncing it for so long. It's flour only. Yes, yeah, flour. It's flour, no. What? The, what were you pronouncing it as? Flour, 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 flour. I thought it was flour, but it's not flour. It's flour only. Flour. Yeah. Like our, but just with the F L. No, it's like flour, like flowers only. It's pronounced the same thing. Yeah, but then the spelling is literally F L, F -L. and our, so flour. No, F L. Our as an H. Oh, you are our, our. Oh, our. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and you know, people. I know how to spot people. Seamless transition again. If they said it I can't. in Indian and British school because they'll pronounce H as H. Give me an example. Where? H. H, not like H D. High H. They say H, they say H. But you said in India, right? Yeah. Was it a British school? No. Then that's what you want to say. But all the people, all the kids who said in the British no, school, in education, nuclear. they say H. <sighs> say it. Why can't you say nuclear? I'm trying to remember. Wait. New killer. Yeah, he, he, Is it? Yeah, he keeps saying new, for the new no, killer. When I met him the first time, he kept saying nuclear. Nuclear. New, yeah, nuclear. Nuclear. Yeah, with a C, cause it's like nuclear. Nuclear. It's nuclear, but he puts an additional U new, after the C. New, it goes nuclear. Nu, 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 nuclear. Nuclear. 
He doesn't do it now, but previously he used to do yeah. it. He used to be like, nuclear, nuclear. And I'm like, there is no additional you after the C now. Nuclear. You know what I'm saying. It's, yeah. like, it's, it's like that other episode. No, but then it, it's You know a, what it's a rhino a, is? Yeah. Don't need me say rhinoceros, do you? <laughs> do you remember, uh, not remember, sorry, um, thing, yeah. The Spartans. I have, a, I have a colleague at my work. He says he, he doesn't say divorce, he says. Divorce. Divorce. Mm-hmm. Demon. Demon. The demon. And then are British people say you. privacy. Privacy. They say privacy. Yeah. There's also the difference between controversy and controversy. Yeah. It sounds like the most made up thing ever. The most annoying one I find is aluminium or aluminium oh. and the Americans aluminum. Aluminum, yeah. Aluminum. Because I personally prefer aluminium. What about or aluminium? What about herb and alu- herb? Herb and herb, right? Yeah. And then also what is Schedule, it? schedule. Yes. Ah, that's one word you guys keep talking, I think. Schedule, what? schedule, what is schedule. Privacy, privacy. Yeah, I think Bhutanese are the only people who pronounce like geography as geography. Oh, dumb tree box. You know, jump tree box. Oi, can we jump. start this? Can we? Can yeah, we? Can we talk tri- about this? Yeah, yeah. Jump tree box. I love the way we like. I'm not sure if it's the same in other country. I mean, it must be, but still, in Bhutan, there's like very specific ways we pronounce like English words. For but example, our geometry name. box. Yeah. Geometry box. Geometry box. Geometry box. Yeah. Uh, what else is there? Ooh. YHS becomes YHS. Yeah. Uh, YHS. Yeah, YHS. Yeah, right. March pass becomes March patch. What? <laughs> March pass. I don't know about it. It's actually March, March past, past, right? But then I grew up, and we, when I was studying in Wangdi, no, I grew up learning not as March past. I heard it as March patch. March patch. Uh, zucchini becomes a zucchini. Ju- zucchini. <laughs> What's the favorite one? The one that you always hear at the workshop. Oh, wait, uh, this is a bit you of a story. You gotta ask him. Then, then, okay. then. All right. Uh, let him figure out what okay, the word so is. Okay, so I'll tell it to you like a story. This happened like years ago. Okay. Uh, I had like a grandfather who asked like his nephew, who was like my uncle, to like go upgrade his Hilux. Mm. He says like, go get this, right? Okay. He says like, it was written down. He said okay. So he went to the, what do you call, workshop, workshop. and then he said, like, do you have shock absorbers? I'm like, I know what you're saying. No? So he, oh, okay. It's like, hmm, odd. And then he went to all the other workshops in Thimpu. He's like, and he couldn't get no, it. Okay. No worries. And then he went to Paro. And he's like, shock absorbers you got? I'm like, no? It's like, okay. He went to penciling. He's like, Oh, oh you God. Got, like, is, it it a, is it a bit? <laughs> no, no. It's, it's actually, he went all this Yeah, 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 yeah. This actually happened. Yeah. He went to penciling and he said, do you have shock absorbers? Again, the same guys that worked with shock absorbers. Mm. And then he called, then he went back to Thimpur, disappointed. He called up my grandfather and said, like, Yo, old man is like, you know, all this is in Zonkab. is like, ah, there's no like shock absorbers. Anyway. Shock absorbers, lo. Shock absorbers, kashimna. It's like, shock absorbers, the, the thing you want is like, ah, no, no, go back to the workshop. Ask for shakab jakab. They'll give it to you. Shakab jakab. Oh, and then oh. He, went, he went back to the same place in oh. Thimpur. Is it like, do you have? Shuck up. Shuck up, up. <laughs> They're like, oh yeah, of course, sir. What size you want? <laughs> no, but I think these are these small language things that we all, yeah, like all countries like, have it. Like Bescope. Like, yeah, Bescope, which is a, a bastardization of Bioscope. Bastardization. What a word. I like describe. perversion. Yeah, not a perversion, but it's it's the bastardization of the word bioscope. And, uh, Cycle becomes senkel, which is my favorite. By the way, since we're already on this topic of language, have you noticed how it's like, if it's a white guy in an Asian country, he's an expat, but if we go, we're an immigrant. We're an immigrant, yeah. 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 When did that word come? The English people created this word. So they can <laughs> differentiate themselves. No, but then that's, again, it's, it goes into this whole like Orwellian thing of how language is used to create a sort of sense of inferiority, division, as well as how people can be made to feel, you know, like it sort of subtly puts in ideas into your head about how people are. For example, if a white man, like you said, if a white man comes to an Asian country, he's an expat. If we go to their country, we become an immigrant, right? right. And at the same time, there's this other one, um, where um, you don't say Ministry of War, right? But you say Ministry of Defense. No. Mm. Oh. Or you don't say Victims of War. You say Casualties of War. The word casual is literally in the word casualty. Mm. So you sort of like, again, language is being used in a way which sort of like suppresses certain things. And it's, but then again, going back to the expat thing, wouldn't it only be an expat if somebody who's doing government work who comes... Yeah, it's right? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I mean... But then there's no, like, there's no, like, white people who are crossing borders to come to Bhutan and live here and work on odd jobs, you know? True. <laughs> so, 
No, because I feel like you would only use the word expat if you're describing somebody who's coming to the country, working for, government. working for the government, or coming to do something for the country, right? Like there are some Australian volunteers who come here and then they work, they sort of try to help out the uh, the country in certain things. Like I had some I don't friends. Know. It just seems like a catch-all term right now. Like, but is it something that is happening all over the place, or is it just in Bhutan that we are calling seems everyone to, be to everywhere. do it? Everywhere, it's like as long as you're a foreigner working there, you're kind of an expat. But then again, I don't use the word expat also. I just say you're a foreigner. To I say chilip. Yeah, it's chilip. The chilip. You call them a dirty chilip. <laughs> dirty, dirty chilip. It's kind of funny because some, oh, uh, some of my some of the Australian friends that we have, right? You know, you learn, and then it's kind of funny because what I've realized is a lot of like uh, foreigners who come and work in Bhutan for a very long time, right? Mm-hmm. They've become so used to the Bhutanese society and how we talk, right? Mm-hmm. That when they see tourists come in, mm. oh they will call those tourists chilips. Yeah, and like then they, they get annoyed. Oh, these damn chilips! Yeah, yeah, and then they get annoyed. Wow, this is interesting. <laughs> you know, chilips cannot say chilips also because they pronounce chilip. Chilip. chilips. Chilips. They say chilips. No, but some of them do say it. I mean, it's it's just a matter of learning it. Yeah, but I think um, pronunciation. Even I've been mispronouncing pronunciation for the longest time. It's pronunciation. No. Pronunciation. I've, I've been saying a pronunciation, pronunciation for the longest time. Oh, there's another one I can't do. Uh, wait. Yeah, I'm, can summoning, I'm summoning the strength. <laughs> Summon <of> the <laughs> summoning what word is it? You know, he's summoning the strength to say that word. In Rick and Morty, Rick mispronounces, they like, don't take things for granted. No. Mm-hmm. Granite. You're a called. genius and you, you've yeah. been saying those don't take things for granted the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> those are called acornisms. Uh, acornisms. Words which we sort of think are think really are different. For example, don't take things for granted. Hmm. For granted, no. Another one is it's a dog eat dog world, right? Dog. But a lot of people hear it as it's dog a doggy dog, dog world. Yeah. So those are it's just stuff okay. that I enjoy. Just like Bon Appetit could be mistaced for Bon, bon Apple, Apple tea. tea. There you go. You need, there's a Reddit, there's a Reddit, yeah, there's a Reddit, there's a Reddit, 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 Reddit called Bon Appetit. <laughs> yeah, I He's can't still trying to find the word. What's the word? No, Spell I'm, it. I'm, no. Okay. Pre- Preliminary? Pre- preferably. 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 Some say preferably. Some it takes so much effort from me to say it. That's why I never tried to say Preferably. it. Preferably. Preferably. It's like how some people avoid to use the words effect and affect. Mm. Mm. My favorite one is, uh, the, one of my favorite um, language uh, sort of um, idiosyncrasies, would that mm. be the word? Wow. One of the, word. the ones that Bhutanese have, or in this case, it's more like a, it's more like a mistake that we all make, but we seem to love using it, mm-hmm. is we use the word loose mm. to mean loose. Mm. Like L O O S E instead of L O S E for loose, yeah, like yeah. you'd say loose. Yeah. Another one is hair saloon mm. oh, instead salon. of hair salon. Because then I'm always tempted to like go in and be like, yeah. can I get a beer here as well? <laughs> I'll, give you, I'll give you the yeah. best thing which Buddhist people, not all, some people use, which I do not get. When people get, you know, like like something, like say a baby or promotion, they say mm. Congress. Congrats, yeah. Congress. Congress. C O N G R E S S. I've never Congress. run across that though. My I no, just 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 post something. Okay? People who can graduate to you get at least one person saying Congress. Congress. Maybe it's just autocorrect. Congress. No, people say Congress because they think congrats is actually spelled Congress. No, no maybe they're just trying to spell congrats. Well not not auto- like seventeen correct. like seventeen out of hundred people will not mess up. No, no but the autocorrect's just there and then you kinda like well screw it, I'll Congress bro. Another one that I remember is um this is something that my brother came across while we were in Calcutta. Mm-hmm. So he was in a, in a, those days we didn't have smart like we didn't buy our first smartphone until we were in college. So we were still using the computer like net, like, you know, okay. internet cafes to get stuff done. So I believe he was sitting there, and then a Bhutanese girl walked in, and she had a cast on her leg, mm-hmm. bro- broken her leg. And then you know when we when when we all first started using Facebook, we all tried to like give ourselves cool looking sounding names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I, I think <laughs> I didn't have. I had, a fr- I had friends who had. I did it. I'm, 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 what, what was your name? Kin K, capital I, and all. Okay. Just skin fin, that sort of stuff. Like yeah. names that I, I would use my nicknames yeah. mostly, and then um, so she took the computer next to him, and then he sort of noticed that she was changing her name on Facebook and she wrote a cute angle angel oh. 
<laughs> but she wrote angle. Oh, so a cute angle. A cute angle. And I was saying the pun is right there. Like, it's amazing how, how much. And on top of that, she's kind of busted her leg. So she's probably standing at an angle. <laughs> so, so. She said a cute angle then, maybe. But yeah, like I think like um, I used to have that. I used to have a big issue with this because of the fact that I think it's because my mom's an English teacher, so yeah. it's sort of like yeah, I've always been a grammar nazi yeah, as well. Yeah, sort of. Gra- but now, as I've as I've you know, as you see it every day, you sort of realize that these are just things that we sort of these are things that are inherent in our society, and it sort of ends up becoming becoming slang, not not just a slang, but it sort of becomes a part of the society and the culture. For example, like. Like in the Philippines, a lot of people mix Spanish in with their, with their language because really? yeah, because Philippines was called colonized by the Spanish, so there are some Spanish-sounding words that they use as well, right? And by that same uh, logic, and when you come across pages like Bhutanish, which sort of use. It's kind of interesting because we use the English language in such a different way, mm. and I think that's way more fascinating now than to be like correct. Of course, I would I would like to correct people when they're making mistakes in grammar, mm. but then I think in terms of like how we use certain words, I I I, I really like those. Oh, it becomes so, you know localized. Yeah, but as Steinbeck says, the whole point of language is to communicate. Yeah, and if you can as long as you can understand it. Yeah. Mm. yeah, so if you can uh, communicate more effectively in one way than another use that that's the one you should be going for yeah, like like your shaka jaga what is it called shaka jaga shaka jaga might be wrong but you know what it gets the message across <laughs> and it helps. but then i read the shaka jaga on bhutanish no and now yeah. for me I, I never not i never knew that it was a thing yet shaka jaga another one that i never knew was bhutan 11 what Bhutan Eleven. You don't know Bhutan Eleven? I don't know Bhutan Eleven because I've never heard anyone use the word Bhutan Oh, we used to use it when we were growing up a lot. What's a Bhutan Eleven? Bhutan Eleven means you're walking on your two feet. So this, how did you come? Did you drive? Did you think? No, Bhutan Eleven which means I walked. Man, that's the lamest. <laughs> that's the lamest because, reference But the thing I've is, heard. you know like license plates, they have Bhutan, no, the, the, the royals. So maybe the, that, it came from that, derived from that. Yeah, because, it's derived from that. Because the number plate is Bhutan, so you drove Bhutan 11 because Your it's legs. Bhutan 1. Oh, okay, okay. Bhutan okay, 11 okay, is the okay, leg. Okay, okay, maybe. All right, all right. But yeah. it became a popular thing because I know it. it I, I never heard it. But I used to use it when we were kids. Uh, we found it funny. Yeah, <laughs> Bhutan 11. <laughs> One that I love that Bhutanese use is touch. Touch? When we say, when we haven't had consistent practice with something, like we'll say, ah, uh, Garina, touch. Mi bahala mi asi, no? Oh. Like, we, do, we use the word touch as a way to show consistent and repetitive oh. behavior. Yeah. And I love that, like, that's one of my favorite words. And whoever runs Bhutanisha have given you that word, you still haven't used it. You bastard. Touch. Yeah, it's it's something that I think only Bhutanese people use. I've never heard it anywhere else where people are like, uh, you know, like, like if you if you go to anywhere, if you go to Bhutan, like, you go to a Bhutanese and who hasn't driven in a while, you'll be like, have you, ah, touch me bahala mi asi. No, no, oh, yeah, I mean, it's, a, I've yeah. lost touch with... Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I've understood from other people, like, hearing, like, Bhutanese speak Bhutanese and Zonghao with each other, is like, they say, it's so fascinating. You mix so many languages together, and it comes out to something new, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's like how Singaporean and it's English, not where yeah. they mix Hindi, Singaporean, Chinese. Man, I love that English. Yeah. Cannot, can, can. Because I used to live in Malaysia, you know, they use the same accent. They don't say, can you, can you do it, yes or no? They say, can or cannot, for like, yes or no. Oh. Like, is this possible? Can. Cannot. That's the, 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 that's the language. And they use Lao also. And my mom was talking to a Malaysian lady and she said, Wow, she's so respectful, she knows how to say Lao. So, <laughs> so do you guys consume like a lot? I mean, obviously, it's like America being the most dominant form of media. You guys consume like any other forms? British? Maybe aside from like anime also, because that's a big part. What do you mean consume? Like, you know, uh, for example, uh, I watch a lot of Singaporean and South Korean podcasts. Mm. Do you guys? I or like those Indian. Comedians. I listen to a British pod. Did you ever watch uh, I what AIB? Yeah, I I love. Uh, shout out to AIB. Shout out. I miss you guys. Yeah, you I miss you. Stop posting. They were really good yeah, sketch comedy. Yeah, those guys. So like, do you if watch? You guys have, if you guys, if you guys want to watch this spot randomly. <laughs> no, but then the sad part this. about what happened with AIB was that they got. What's AIB? Uh, AIB? All India Bakchod. What's that? They were an Indian comedy sketch. Group sketch comedy troupe mm-hmm. and they did a lot of they were the first Indians to do a roast in India like they did a really roast of some funny. celebrities and they did a quite a good job it's just that a lot of the conservative people from India sort of created this entire let me, let me check this out what's it called again AIB AIB they speak a lot in Hindi bro so subs subs 
Uh, but he will not change the context. Yeah, he'll change the context. Then Shahid and Hindi thing I'm pleased with. I'm kind of amazed that he subtitles. watches it they in Hindi. No, they have subtitles. I mean, they have it in subtitles, but, but subtitles sort of ruin, ruin know, the context. The delivery, no. Okay, ah, so. don't worry. Sometimes I have like a another guy that speaks Hindi like, beside look me. Look at this. Look at an example. Gand phat gayi. That's what they. Yeah. It means my asshole erupted. <laughs> but what sounds? What, it's, does it sound funnier when you say Gand phat gayi or oh, my asshole erupted? Oh. Gand phat gayi sounds funnier, right? Because. <laughs> It's the delivery and it's the... It, like some is things it, you it, say it in Zonka sounds way funnier than saying it in English. Is something. it like when I try to speak Zonka or Hindi? E, a little bit, yeah. But it's only funny to people that understand because of how wrong it is. Yes, it's sort of that. By the way, for the audience, uh, I say things like uh, Churu Lejum or uh, what's the other one? Acharat. Acharat. When I'm leaving because... Uh-huh. She Churu literally lejum. says... Why not? It's good, good night. Churu le, night, you Churu know. Dile. No, I like my version more. I like that he calls his dog Gonor Simchin. Yeah, or, All or, his dogs is just a Gonor Simchin. What, what else are they? Is his, is I'm not his, saying his it's name, a bad thing. Is his name Gonor Simchin? No, 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 all of them are Gonor Simchin. Like, what do you call a pet? A Gonor Simchin? So like, when I see my pets, I'm like, I am Wait, a Gonor Simchin. Is a Gonor Simchin a pet or is it a farm animal? It's a domesticated animal. Domesticated Which animal. are pets. Okay. Any pet is a Gonor Simchin. So. But theoretically... A chicken is also a domestic animal. Yeah, so that's also, uh, but you can have a pet chicken, can't you? Uh, pet pig, pet... No, all, yeah. all, all gone I, I, I've, I've always wanted a pet pig. Apparently they're very smart pigs. Yeah, I want a pet pig and I keep telling Tenzin that in the future, instead of a dog, I might want to get a pet pig. But they're huge and they eat so no, much. No, not the fucking huge ones. I'm talking about like, like babe, pig in the city. You know, you know those are very pretty pigs. You know how normal pigs we look like in the Yes, pigs. I know. I've seen you fucking know they grow, You know they end up growing anyway, right? Yeah, and then when they do, I'll eat them. <laughs> oh, oh, such a beautiful... What's pig. wrong with it? You know? Alright, alright. Circle of life. Yeah. <laughs> Just as a joke, I'm gonna name it Bacon. Uh, Foretelling. Yeah. No, but then, yeah, I, that, that's something that I've always wanted. I, I do want a pig as a pet. Mm. So, anyways, you guys can swim. I think Tenzin video. already has a pig as a pet. Huh? Uh, I, I like just the football podcast and Joe Rogan mostly, and then Andrew Schultz, who is American. So, there's three podcasts I listen to. I, I'm not really like, mm-hmm. no one has recommended me any podcast, so I've never checked any new ones. I no, like foreign, think... like other, I guess, other than the States. Uh, British. Other mm-hmm. than that? No. No? You? Not so many, no. No? Um, I mean, I listen to a lot of cartoon-related podcasts, which is kind of weird. I listen to what a cartoon, I listen to a, a Tolkien podcast, I listen to a, a metal music podcast, and then I listen. I recently found one which is about cosmic horror, which I really enjoy. Ooh. Yeah, but then I think other than that, yeah, I don't listen to other countries' podcasts. No. As you know, an Australian guy is into, but again, all white Western. Would you consider Australian West? I guess, I mean... They don't I think he means like dominantly English-speaking countries. Yeah, so recommend us some Asian persuasion podcasts. Oh, man. Uh, Kimochi podcast? No. Uh, Yamate there's a podcast? Bunch of, nah, there's a bunch of them. Like, <gasps> podcast? For some reason, <laughs> if you look at Singaporean podcasts, mm. they're always about finance, which is kind of Which makes sense. It's very kind of stereotypical. Yeah. <laughs> My cousin once told me that in Singapore, if you do become successful it's like it's not just a matter of becoming successful you have to really maintain that success because it's so competitive yeah, yeah. Uh, even in China like the, the model is the Jack Ma what does he say that 998 996 yeah there's nine, that rule 996 rule so they say like 9 hours that, a day because now Jap- China is overtaking Japan in terms of overworking their employees no? but they said that I last time I watched a documentary on Vice this thing like this 996 life, it's hard, we do it, but then the fact that if we don't do it, okay, even though we hate it, our competitors will do it. Yeah. So we have to do it. No, they'll give you better. Mm. So with but Jack Ma saying that, people saying, oh, what's wrong with him? This is like uh, bad see, behavior. Now this but is you have to do it. Lord. See, now this is where my Chinese podcast knowledge comes into power. Okay. <laughs> into play. Okay. Uh, Wait, how are you listening like, to them? Like, I don't know. They're just super interesting. No, but how do you understand them? Do they speak in English no, or Chinese? Well, obviously, well, sometimes they say shit in... Sorry, like, Mandarin or Cantonese? I, I mean, sometimes they say shit in like different languages and then okay. I was like, like okay, back, 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 see, captions on. <laughs> And then oh, you're YouTubing it. Yeah, if they're nice about it, they'll usually put the captions I in. think podcasts are Have better you... than Zoomed while you're driving, no? Or when you're working, I feel. 
or you're working out not like I don't like listening watching like you guys are watching this now but I prefer to like put yeah, I, I, I like watch to watch drive and listen yeah usually I'm like drawing or I'm playing video games yeah, or something like wait back back okay so uh so have you heard of the lying down movement no it's not Uh, maybe it's a fad who knows but it's like in china what people are doing is they're literally lying down mm-hmm. as a form of silent protest, protest for this overworking culture mm-hmm. so people will, people are just like i'm done being a cog in the machine i'm done being the mouse in uh, the hamster in the wheel yeah. and then they just lie down and they lie down in like public places they lie down in like odd areas and sometimes someone will take a picture of them like lying down woman <laughs> hashtag lying down woman <laughs> But then, but yeah, the, but I think the key to success is hard work. But it is because it is. my uncle used to tell me that you could be the smartest human being in the world, but Basically. if you're lazy as shit, nothing's gonna happen. Yeah, for sure. So for you sure. have to like put in a lot of work. You know, like. I mean, I'm I'm personally quite a lazy person, but. I'm a lazy person as well, but yeah. I feel like yeah. you know, like make habits and discipline. But yeah. consistent hard work has the hard bit. See, yeah. someone can be work hard for a year, maybe two. But to maintain that consistent hard work for years, know, and years and years and years, now that's what's it. Yeah, no, but no, then man. sometimes you just meet freaks of nature. You know, they're like, "I've been doing this for two years." The other guy's like, "Oh, let me try." It. One month later, he's like, "You know, if it's a violin or something, it's just like." But then it's kind of thing. But then like the fishes. Or haven't you met those kids that are like super duper good at math? Like they don't even need to take notes. They just like no, the they Chinese. just look. No, that's just like people out there. Yeah, like that's just way, that's very not racist of you. Two. Like they just do an example question once or twice, so they'll explain the logic. They'll oh, be no, like, "Did I, you get it?" They'll be like, "Yeah." No, the thing is, when the child, when the child, you know, is what you call a child. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> when the child is Their a child. Their brains, no, are more like, receptive. Yeah, because the thing is, right now, if you take. You tell us to learn a new skill. Okay? It'll be harder because our mind is already consumed so much stuff mm-hmm. that it's very less, you know, like space for us to learn something. While as if a kid hasn't learned anything his whole life, and you just teach him maths, it's an empty slate. Empty slate, you know. So he can learn much quicker, quicker, and mm-hmm. because there's nothing to distract him. You no, know? while as we have like hundred things in our mind, you know, like that. But then, but then how come all the other kids aren't like? Yeah, I'm a math genius. But then that depends on if what you, sort of if you give us the ideas yeah, yeah. and you teach him the same, you know, skills to tricks to be good at math, then kid will probably get it for sure. No, it, like, but I think no, like these geniuses are mostly on. like found by accident. Yeah, right. It's yeah. usually like. I don't know. It's like here's a simple math test. It's like Tommy, like why aren't you doing a test? And he's just like already finished. But and prob- he's like two but, years old. But probably this kid. No. Okay. Let's say he grows up. He probably. He will oh, I know this one kid. I, like wait, I I know this one kid. Uh, you know what's up, right? You remember his? Yes, his nephew. What is he like? He's like the he's first. A, he's like the first. Uh, what? He's the first kind of a brand new species, a human or something. <laughs> what is, what is, what is, he's just like eight. When he was seven, eight years old, this guy's like playing classical piano. Um, in Bhutan. No, he. He's, like, he's in. He's. 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 He left his dad and his mom. They work in the states, so they are in the states. Okay. But he's he really smart. Like, like insane. I've spoken to him, and I feel dumb. Like that's how. How old is the kid? Now he's nine or ten. This. Uh, uh, they should probably like skip a few grades, and no, they're really smart. No, they sent him to a special school where all where all of his them. friends are where also. Where people like are him. nurturing that. School. Basically, like X Men Xavier's Academy. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, because like. But the kid's really smart, and it's like. Here's a testament. Uh, did you see that video of him? He's doing the. Yeah, he's playing the piano with one hand, and then he's fixing so, a Rubik's so cube with the other. Yeah, so That's the, the mom, same kid. Yeah. The mom's What? Like, no, the mom's like just videotaping everyone during like a Thanksgiving, just some sort yeah. of party, family gathering. Yeah. She's just taking the videos of everyone doing random things, yeah. you know, just completely unscripted, clearly. And then he's like, Eli, what are you doing? And he's playing like a piano with one hand, and he's like fixing the Rubik's cube with the other. He looks in the camera, he's like, oh, nothing, just you know. You can see he's not even trying. He's just like. He's just like, uh, like he's, he's not thinking he's, about it. Yeah, he's, he's like, like, huh? What? What? Oh, okay. So what do you do with that? I think some people are built different, man. Oh, so built different. They're just built different. That's my favorite. No, but I think one thing that I've noticed. Just like you know, like Africans grew, are developing. Oh, I have muscle. I don't know you. <laughs> don't Africans have more muscle mass I than? I don't know. I don't know. Speaking? I don't know, man. Science is fiction these days. <laughs> but then I think it also goes to the like there is. I feel like certain things come about from where you are nurtured as well. 
I think everyone has the potential. I mean, yeah, there are some people who are freaks of nature in the sense, and I say that wait, in a good wait, way, wait, wait, wait. Where, who are born smart and they know stuff, right? Right, but can we agree, Eli would not be at the level that he is right now. This if is he what was, I yeah. was going towards. All right, sorry to steal your yeah, thunder. No worries. Wait, let's so, start again. So, Kinle. No. <laughs> wait, what did you no, say? Before? The point being here that yes, there are people who are born really smart and they 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 start you know showing signs of genius intellect mm -hmm. or in terms of not just in terms of science but even in the arts right mm -hmm. and then there are some but I believe that there is this capability to have everyone be really smart mm -hmm. if we are we have a society that nurtures that yeah of course I believe that as well but mm. and because when you don't have that is it a wonder that some people leave the country is it a wonder that you know and I, I don't say this just for Bhutan I say this for anywhere in the world because a lot of the time what I found is if you meet somebody who's smarter than you or even if they're younger than you, regardless of how old they are, as soon as you meet someone who's smarter than you, we immediately tend to um, cower, feel, in cower, fear. cower in fear. Sure. But then it's okay if you're going to just cower in fear. But then what ends up happening is that that fear turns itself into a weird form of, you know, Oh, you suppression mean like a, on this. You mean like crab bucket mentality? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crab, crab, cage, crab mentality. cage mentality. Every time somebody is trying to do something different and get better, you hold on to them and then you pull them back down, right? And this, I kind of notice it. Uh, one example I can give you all is my sister, when she was in Kelki, mm -hmm. and I see this with, no, I, I usually would try to hide, you know, I'm still going to hide the teacher's name because. I'd rather be a little well, Let's give him a name. Let's give him a name. Is it a lady or a man? Dasha Devon too. No. <laughs> oh, Dasha Devon. No, 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 no. Let's call him. Sir. Madam. Madam Lupin. Snom. Snom. Madam Lupin. Snom. Madam Lupin. Snom. That way, snom. That way the gender is not given away as well. Okay. So Snom. Snom was an English teacher. Okay. And Snom was reading out a passage. Mm -hmm. And Snom pronounced something a little differently. Mm -hmm. And my sister, because we are, like, again, we can't help it, right? Yeah, we do. So, I my it. sister corrected his. Pronounce. <laughs> Never mind, so it's a he. Okay. So, my, my, my sister uh, corrected his pronunciation. Okay. Now, what was the word, though? Blossomed. And how did this He word? said, blossomed. Okay. So, my sister just said, sir, I think it's blossomed. Mm -hmm. Now, the thing is, just because you're a teacher does not mean you know the entire universe's knowledge. Yeah. Right? Yes. And I feel that teachers also should realize that, that you're always learning just as much as you teach someone. Children these days have the internet, they know quite as much as well, and sometimes it's, it's good to you know, be open to that as well, to learn new things. But this teacher looked my sister dead in the eye and actually told her, don't act cocky just because your mom's an English teacher. This is what I mean, when somebody... Ego got hurt. Yes. Don't bring your ego into the don't bring your ego into the question when somebody is trying to and I don't think my sister even said it in a condescending manner. Mm. She just said, Sir, I think it's pronounced blossomed. Mm. But then if your ego is gonna get hurt and you're going to shut down somebody else who's trying to teach you, right? Yeah. I think that's where you sort of that's what I mean by when you don't nurture knowledge, when you don't create an environment where knowledge and learning is acceptable, then guess what? The fact that a lot of kids aren't doing well also sort of that's one of the aspects that leads to it. Okay, thanks for that. <laughs> but then, I had the same similar case because when I was a kid, I, I, my teacher was reading a passage about Mexican something. She was saying, mash it, mash it. I was like, what? She's saying, and I read it and she's like, the man went through the jungle with a machete. Mash it. It was a machete. Oh, machete. machete. So, uh, and it's not I think machete. It's the, so, I know which sto story that is. Tiger's Heart. Something like that. Okay. Yeah, it's not machete, 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 by the way. It's machete. Machete. Well, machete, machete is the Anglo. Uh, so, so I was like, I, so she made it read now. I was like, and then, and then the gang came with the machete and the whole class laughed. I said, you guys are all wrong, you know that? And I said, why you man? I'm correct. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's, that's, that that's mean, why I never got into, why you man? into English class. Because my teacher, like, another class, you remember class 12, we had a story about a French lady or something like that? A French lady? French something. And then my English teacher kept pronouncing Monsieur as Monsieur. Oh, the accursed house. Yeah, Monsieur, Monsieur. Oh, no, that's classic. Monsieur. Yeah, Monsieur. Monsieur. So, so that's why I, then I realized I cannot take her seriously. I'm not going to pay attention. No, but then I think it's like... Do you think it's a uniquely Asian thing? Yeah, I think that's more of a uniquely Asian thing. But at the same time, I think... Um, so if you're an English teacher, no, I would appreciate the English teacher learning pronunciations because you're teaching us English, for fuck's sake. 
You know, I get. It. Oh, by the way, now I'm gonna expand this a little bit. Uh-huh. Uh, I love finance, not just psychology. By the way, I'm a big fan of many things. I like finance too. So let's begin to business about industry. Yeah. So uh, this connects, by the way. Uh, you ever wonder why it seems like Western countries always seem to be at the forefront of like so many industries? No, like when you look at technology, it's always Apple, Google. Propaganda! <laughs> no, I'm just saying, that, that just seems to be the way it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same with uh, yeah. automobiles, right? Everybody wants Mercedes, BMWs, and yeah. a bunch of European brands. Well, what type? But why does nobody want, like, the Japanese stuff, even though, like, technically... They're more efficient. It's the better like, car. propaganda? Yeah, How though? Like... Media? The good and zoom media? And then, like, you know, in movies, they see, like, they, oh, shit, I got a new... I think know, it's sort of Mercedes, yeah. right? They don't say I got a new Toyota. It's kind of sad, but they I think it's, it's it's it's. I feel like it's a weird. What the fuck? Wait, we're <laughs> I feel like it's what's, this. What's happening? What's happening? Are we yeah. getting like Naruto music? Yeah, it looks like. What's what's playing? Okay, go on. Let's see. What's happening? I want to hear it. Yeah. 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 Check. Yeah. That's the Lord of the Rings. Oh shit, sorry. <laughs> what? I thought that was Titanic. <laughs> no! Oh, never mind. Okay. Okay. You, you all could do better, yeah, that sucked. Okay, anyway, <laughs> going back. I feel like one of the reasons why we still, you know, love... Lag behind? No, not lag behind. Really. I, I just think it's... There's something going on. I think it's... In terms of, like, mm-hmm. what people prefer more. I don't know about that, but why they're thriving more is they do a lot of inve- investing in R&D. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, I I mean, I have a similar period. But then at the same time, I, I, yeah, I feel like a lot of the time, uh, the way I see it personally is that uh, the the Western countries have done a really great job of glorifying themselves. Mm-hmm. We have sort of fed into that whole, even now to this day, despite the fact that almost every country well, don't you has... Think we're not, supporting it? Yeah, we are supporting it, but that just goes to show, like, to, I'm not saying that this is the main cause of How it, much right? they've invaded our minds. Yeah, th- that's what I think um, a lot of us consume. In, let's be honest, in terms of anything that we do, do we not consume Western media? No, the, the, that's I mean, subjective. Some people no, but then, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then let's say the average. Let's no, the, the let's say the average. Regular. average. Okay, yeah. okay. We okay. would be the ones who take up Western media, mm-hmm. right? And then let's be honest. Even those people who don't watch Western media, let's say our grandparents and stuff, right? When we meet them, do we not talk to them about how the Chijelgi Gekhats are doing much better? About, like, if they say, like, they want a phone, do we not go and say, oh, we might want to use this phone because it's better and that sort of stuff? It's sort of how how indoctrinated we have become with and how much people have in a way fetishized the West. I mean even to this day I think people still right, but there was an origin point, right? Yeah like, there has to be where an origin did it point. come from? Or like I'm just, I'm just wondering why is it like if a, like what what do, do, do you get what I'm saying? It's like even if we ourselves became or like in Asia ourselves, if we became successful, mm-hmm. first thing we do, Mercedes or BMW. We don't go for Lexus or Acura. But then again... And new people don't even... Yeah, see, look at that. Yeah. Even the guest was like... It was, it's not Porsche, by the way. It's Porsche. Okay, I know, but like, <laughs> we're just... Isn't we're trying to be, seem it's, like it's, regular it's, people. Yeah. Yeah. It could be marketing as well. I marketing, think there's, yeah. there's a psychological aspect. No, but why is it... Yeah, but why, I mean, like, Lexus, which is owned by Toyota, by the way, tries to do the same thing. They try to market themselves or Genesis. Also. But then the thing is, they're entering a market which has already been taken by the, the BMWs and the Mercedes. Yeah, then, but how come like people... Could it be shift? a form of it, self-hate? Self-hate? Could it be a form no, of self-hate? Now, Toyota has always had the reputation to be an affordable car. No, So now all of a sudden... That's they, why they made Lexus. That's what I'm saying. So when all of a sudden they come with the Lexus and say, now this is a luxury brand. Our mind is already as established that Toyota is an affordable regular car. So when you buy a Lexus, you don't feel that right, much then, more. Okay, okay. But when I say Mercedes, BMW, Audi and all this, yeah. what do you think of? They've luxury, already, they've, but what else? You also think of overpriced yeah, I can, and unreliable. Mine is unaffordable. I don't. I don't drive. Even though, like, it's. I don't know. I'm not really into cars, but I. Yeah, I mean, it's the, pretty the much known like, like the very like the, the cool looking German engineering. Yeah, but everyone keeps also talking about how expensive it is to maintain, how hard it is to maintain, and like what perfect roads you need to drive. Yeah, yeah but that's what I'm saying. It, to, it, to have it, to drive. 
probably it's a multifaceted as my friend Himal would say it's a multifaceted problem as in it has many reasons why we probably do it yeah. I think it comes down to like let's be honest in terms of even in terms of history the West was the first to start with industrial revolution mm -hmm. right yep. and then and a lot of the times they used they procured <laughs> Asians and other third world countries to come and work in their industries and stuff. So they already seem to have had that step up. Step over in terms of historical thing, but not saying that they got it in a correct way either. It came about with the fact that they also had to, you know, colonize other countries. They they kidnapped people from other countries and forced them to work as labor in their own countries and that's how their industrial revolution also boomed to a certain extent. Right, but uh, I don't know. Well, that was me trying to solve global economics. <laughs> yes, one man trying to innovation solve global economics. Global economics. Yeah. Uh, we are not as innovative as the West, Western, the Western ones. Yeah, so I had a theory about this. And I'm not, I'm not trying to shit on like the Asian culture or whatever, but to me what seems to be holding us a lot back is like seniority. That seniority mentality. No, this is, yeah. That it's, tradition. It's, it's the same in terms of when we were talking about nurturing people, right? If a person who is younger knows more than the elder or somebody who's senior, the senior a lot of the times will do everything to shut that person down. Or they'll keep trying to, or at least out here yeah. in Asia, uh, we keep trying to maintain the hierarchy, hierarchy almost, or like the power structures that be. Mm. And so, we're not necessarily saying that power structures are bad. I think hierarchies are necessary. And natural. But, and they're natural. But I think there is this weird thing of not letting people move between those hierarchies. Right, that's the main... Whereas, like, in the West, right, it's usually something like, maybe you have 20 years over me, but I just graduated from college or whatever. I came in and I'm working with you on the project, and I... Because I'm so brilliant, I just go like, Sir, let me be honest with you, I think this is the dumbest idea ever. I got a real idea. And then I push it. Yeah. and Risk-taking. Yeah, and I push risk. it because I'm like... I don't give it like I, I don't care how many years you have over me. Uh, yeah, yeah, idea shit. Yeah, I have the best idea. I'm gonna tell you what's what, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, we don't have like that concept of like, oh, but this guy knows that guy and he's related to my uncle or something like that. Mm -hmm. I I don't want to embarrass the family or mm -hmm. so that holds us a lot back, right? Yep. So a lot of innovations get left behind and are never ever. But it's put changing out there. though. Now that the new generations are being more outspoken. Yeah. While as I remember... Risk-taking is something that yeah. a lot of... In, in, my, in my office, my, my boss he used to tell me like when he used to start up to... When he start working, whatever the boss says, they have to agree with it. Because if they yeah, to like say that. no, yeah. then it looks very disrespectful. But now he's saying you're seeing changes yeah. like new, new, new generations. If they say, they'll speak their mind, they say, maybe we'll try doing this. Mm. So then he improves things. No, as slowly. they think, yes, yes, man. So it's slowly improving. Yeah, maybe. It is improving. I think it is improving. It's just our culture, no Asian culture. Just oh, like in Japan, the honorifics. Yeah, yeah because you're my senior, oh, you know what's you're a, my thing, blah. I have to respect whatever yeah, you say, yeah, regardless yeah. whether it's right or not. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's a really classic example of like this tradition leading to like great disasters in efficiency or outcome. Uh, I forget where it was, but definitely somewhere in Asia. Uh, it was a country where, like, they just set up the airport or something. Okay, mm -hmm. the details might be absolutely fucked up, but uh, uh, this is kind of what happened. Uh, they had, like, a bunch of guys in flight control, like the command center, right? Mm -hmm. You know, the tower or whatever, where yes. they're, like, giving instructions, you're clear to take off, mm -hmm. something's wrong, something's not wrong, okay. you didn't do this, you didn't do that, right? So there's a bunch of like, and usually it's the newer people that are up in there, right? Yeah. And it's the pilots and seniors that are actually flying the plane. Yeah. So what happened was there was, uh, you know, they're doing the final checklist for flying. Uh -huh. uh, there's multiple instances of this in different, different countries. But one of them is that what happened was there was a, they were doing a check. The captain was like, okay, this check, everything's check. Uh, I think everything's all set. Nobody, well, everyone was afraid of correcting the senior that... Maybe saying, like, do a double check, maybe could we do a recheck, maybe... Could yeah, we or that, this? like, mm -hmm. that, sir, I think the thing's wrong. So even though they could see that it was clearly that... Because of the hierarchy, they couldn't see shit. This, this thing was not turned on re yet or was ready yet, right? Nobody st stopped him and he kept going like, yep, yep, well, I'm going to fly this damn thing now. Mm -hmm. And then, well, disaster. <laughs> 
And when people were asked, why didn't you do anything? This is like literally in the protocols. You're supposed to like tell them, check exactly. now, stop it. Mm-hmm. You're, you're going to kill everyone, right? They're like, why didn't you? And they're like, oh, well, you know, he's my senior. I can't correct him. Wait. I thought they died. How did they get interrogated afterwards? No, 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 no the pilot the, 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 the ATC. The, is although the ATC there are more traffic control. Yeah, there are other incidences where like the same thing happened again, except you know, not everyone died. It's just the plane like crashed or something like that. They had to like they had to like uh, fly to a different airport and like fuck up everyone's schedules because they didn't have enough fuel and when they were asked why didn't we have enough fuel it's like well the captain said he had enough fuel so you know I didn't want to correct him I gotta go pee okay but I think that <laughs> stems from oh oh shit that's sorry, right. sorry 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 it's okay he can't see <laughs> go, sir. thank you though for the defense no problem okay and let's just segue into something else then uh, something trivial it's not trivial, something I found which is quite fascinating. Last time uh, we were here, we were talking about uh, PE exam, you know PE exams? What? You know RCSE? Yeah. So there's a PE prelim- preliminary exam before you get into the RCSE. When was that? Uh, a couple of weeks back. So around No, like when did we start having PE? Don't you just do the No, no, we do PE. Then if you qualify for the PE, which is like 50, 50 bucks to pass, then you can qualify to take the RCSE. Okay. Right. You know the RCSEs, right? Yeah. The civil service yeah, exam. Yeah. You get I'm, I'm jobs not in the totally government. removed from my country. <laughs> you, you know what PE is. I'm trying to explain what RCSEs is. So basically... Uh, Physical education? <laughs> yes! So, out of like 3,000 people, only like 1,000 people passed. Less than 1,000. 26% so, so 26% uh, passed. passed. Yes, sir. And then, okay. So then recently they did another survey for midterm exams this year. Because, you know, kids didn't go to school last year properly. And then, um, out of... Uh, our countries, uh, you know, people doing exams, only 46% of students pass midterm. So, which comes to the question, is it COVID or are we just getting dumber as a country? <laughs> what the hell is going on? COVID is an aspect, I would say. Um, let's be honest, because it was in a way, we were never planned, we were never prepared for e-learning, remote learning, you know? Mm. Like, suddenly, children thrust into a situation where they were supposed to, you know, talk to their t- teachers through Google, Google Classroom and that's how they're going to learn. You, you're you going to trust the kids with internet today to, to do that, to like go into their Google Classroom and do that? Obviously not. There were some who tried and I think there were some who didn't really get anything out of it. And I think COVID is one of the aspects that it, it didn't work out so well. But at the same time, I think, yeah, I think to a certain extent, children today these days don't, they're not curious. I mean, they've got, they've got the internet, they've got like, you know, uh, compared to what, what the internet was like 10 years ago, yes. the internet is so fast right now. Nobody wants, everyone wants to be spoon fed. And I've seen this happen, you know, and I, and I, and I see this happening also because everyone wants Nobody wants to like do their own research. Nobody is curious about things. Nobody wants to go and look up stuff. Like when Dawa tells me stuff like, when I'm like, sometimes I'll be like, Dawa, I need like, you know, like, um, I don't know what to talk about for my radio show. Mm. Then Dawa will just be like, oh, there's this thing. Mm. Then the he ball. doesn't, he doesn't go and do the research for me. He tells me and then I go and I do the research for it myself. Right. Mm. And that thing isn't there. And I don't know why it's not th- there because I think there are some parents who are really trying to encourage that in children, but I don't know, I just don't see that, I just see that children aren't, the more advanced and the more open and free the knowledge has become to us, it feels like the more closed off we've become to it. And I say this not in terms of education, not just in terms of education, but in terms of everything. Mm. Like you have people who are completely denying science, despite the fact that there's like fact and evidence to prove it, but they're like, no. And it's not just the students, uh, it's not just children, it's adults too, and I think that's kind of scary. Well, I think that's... uh... <clears throat> Adding on to what you say, this is something I was thinking about while on my little motorcycle here. Mm-hmm. But what? Well, I was thinking like about this whole concept of freedom, which is supposed to be a good thing, mm. apparently. No, sometimes uh, you have too much shit on TV to watch, you don't know what to watch, you know? Why right, right, there's right. only like three well, options, then I mean, you look forward to that one show. Right, but uh, I mean, like, uh, idea I've been trying to grasp with is this idea that when you when you're given freedom you're also given the Choice. freedom to fail, fail yeah. which means like 
you can fail now because we've given you so much freedom. Mm -hmm. Your opportunities are very big, but now your chances of failure are also as big. Mm -hmm. And the more freedom you give someone, the more you Open make them up it. To failure. The more you make it about them. It's like, if that makes sense. Yeah, somewhat, somewhat at least. Right, but then that, that gives you with a very. Cruel I think what reality. he means to say is like, if you give people the freedom to do something, then they also have the freedom to not want to do it. Right, uh, and but now where the the, the sad part <laughs> comes in is. When they do fail, there's obviously some repercussions for it, right? Mm -hmm. Because they didn't choose to do something. Which because technically they chose does to. not mean it's freedom. Because you would think that freedom, I mean, if you're going according to a little bit of like, you would think that, because I think like freedom means that you have freedom from everything, right? But then that's not the case. Because though you are free to do something and you choose not to do it, you're not free from the repercussions of that. But isn't that the sweet, paradox? Like it's, con like, it's a weird paradox. No, it's like... You you have the freedom to become a bum. Yeah, Here but then you once go. you become a bum... Right, but now that's the sad dystopian part. What do you do? Because it's sad seeing people be bums, right? Mm -hmm. It's sad seeing people not know anything about the world, not know about like taxes, finances, mm -hmm. not know how to take care of themselves and everything, right? Mm -hmm. But we gave them that chance, right? We gave them that freedom mm -hmm. and they kind of took every chance they could to become a bum. Yeah. And now that they're a bum, mm -hmm. I think this don't you think it's fair that he's a bum because he kind of chose it but at the same time it's really sad and you don't want that to happen but then it's and so now true. the only way to do it is to take away that original freedom right now mm. there's like a complicated formula mm. because how do you know that the same freedoms that made this guy a bum isn't the same types of freedom I think that yeah, but made, maybe the uh, same types of freedom which made that guy a bum made somebody else too made more people successful than right but you don't know them. you don't know right so maybe like, you do the survey then. i think this no, is no 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 but, but now now see I, again i keep trying to like fix the world's problems i think podcast. <laughs> i'm sorry i'm just no, saying if i told you right now okay yeah here is this door okay if you go through this door you will either be a bum or you'll be really successful depending on what you do or you choose another door if you go you'll be safe no matter what guaranteed but you'll not reach extreme highs of success or extreme lows of uh, poverty of poverty what would you choose? Well, I think it's kind of simplifying a bit because it's like you're making it sound like it's a 50-50, right? No, I was just saying like... I think the choice is, I think you should just have one door where it's like, here's this door, you go through it, whatever you do after that point is your fault. Oh no, you know what it's this your is, own, no, you know, you know what this is actually is? It's a saw game. It's a saw game. It's a squid game. No, it's the saw game. It's <laughs> like, 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 like a TV, like a TV turns on, there's a clown, it's like, hello, dawa. I'd like to play a game with you. If you can crawl through this door of uh, uh, 15 yards of broken glass with your naked body, yes. you will reach something, but for every yard you complete, you will get something or another. Yeah, that makes no sense. <laughs> no, I, <laughs> I mean, yeah. uh, I don't know, it sounds... Actually, yeah, you know what? You're right. I, that, that, I mean, no, I, that, <laughs> no sense. That was me. That was me trying to be relatable but failing horribly. You know, the, okay, ultimately people say no, if you're born poor, that's not your fault, but you die poor, that's That your is your fault, yeah. I don't know. Even that, I'm like, is it really? What if your parents are pieces of shit, you know? But you have your freedom to not, you know, like, okay, then you raise, of course. Yeah, but really again, 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 mindset yeah. is completely... Are, human know. beings are just weird, okay? It's the fact that... Um, if you if you leave somebody to their own devices, they will do what they want to do with those devices, right? Maybe, and but the, like you were saying earlier with Eli, right? There's yeah. an environmental component. There is also an environmental component. Regardless of how brilliant you are, yeah, yeah. what's around you is not supporting, supporting you, you like make your brilliance encouraging you or potential. whatever. Reach your potential, yeah. Like I that, like not saying I'm a genius, but I definitely felt that like. Uh, I think with the ex I said it before. The expectations for me were to not pass class ten. Yeah. And, and then that, but then see, there was you're a again change in my yeah. environment, and then suddenly I started doing really, really well. So, you know, and then I think that was a totally environmental thing. There's no way I could have done what things you did. just on my own, right? So again, the real question comes: Is it but your again, fault? Is it but not then, your fault? But then again, I think it also comes down to like yes, though you do have environmental factors that help you, that nurture you, right? It's also a choice on your part whether or not you want to take the nurturing to 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 to, to benefit you.
Because I do know for a fact that there are some people who you can try to help as much as you want. Like you push them in the right direction. You really try. But then if they do not want that, right, then you can't really do anything after You can't that. help people who can't, can't help themselves. You can't help people. Because there is a certain amount of helping yourself that needs to be there. Right, right? but here's the problem. Now someone else thinks, now someone else comes along and they think nobody's helped them before. And then they perpetuate his suffering. Ah. <sighs> See. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I get Damn charities. See. Just give me all your money. Anyways. <laughs> Let's take me to something more. Any of you watch a new D Dave Chappelle special? Yeah. Closer? Yeah. What did you think? I didn't watch the yeah. whole thing. I watched a clip where he says like, the baby, you know the baby? Oh my god, that was genius. Don't so kill the baby. I'll tell you the story. <laughs> so the baby is a rapper. I know who the baby is. Okay, the baby. And not didn't really, he make some rather not, racist, not, not to be mistaken with yeah. Lil Baby, but he's the baby. Okay, so he's... Did he make some homophobic statements? We'll get to yeah. that. Yeah. Not really homophobic. Maybe homophobic, depending on how you dig it. See, he's, a, yeah, he's like a really like a, no, a hardcore he's, rapper. He's just so said he's what a, he wanted if to you say. Guys, if you guys are with, like, with, your, with your hot wives or with, 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 with pussy wet, making your girls pussy wet, then you say yeah, yeah. If you if you guys ain't fucking you, each other, you, all those assholes in the parking lot, then get that get head lost. It's just a joke shit like that. It's like about HIV or something like that. So basically, Dave Chappelle's bit is saying that, you know, he got cancelled by the LGBTQ girl because he said that and he's getting fucked over. But a couple of years ago, he literally Stabbed. shot a dude. The dude died and no one said anything. So he's saying like, him saying some things about the LGBT community was worse than him actually killing a guy. <laughs> so that's his bit. Okay. What kind of system? And the, the joke he was making was about, you know, cancel culture, yeah. basically. And he said like, Look, guys, all I'm saying is, what kind of system do we live in? And also, when you rob someone of their means of living or something, you're killing them. And I'm just saying, don't kill the baby. Don't abort the baby. <laughs> <laughs> abort the baby. Oh, God, of course. You yeah, but you got to watch the rest of it. It's I will watch that. Well, then the whole this cancel culture thing is something that's... Nah, we talk about it too much. So... Like, I think it's not relevant to us, but... In Bhutan, no one's no, going to get not, it. Not yet. Not, not yet. yet. But I feel like... Don't cancel us. <laughs> I feel like it will eventually seep in. And it is bound to seep in because, again, like I said, Haven't Asians have a weird way of mm -hmm. fetishizing... We don't have... To, what the, we don't have big enough celebrities... To get cancelled? Huh. I guess. Yeah. Maybe not now. Okay, let's say, uh, let's say an actor, okay, let's say poor, poor Chile, hypothetically, you know, gets charged with sexual assault, okay? He just doesn't get movies there. And that's not a huge hit to his income. It's not like he's making mil millions of new Trump, you know, for movies and stuff like that. Uh, I, ha I have a different take. What's that? What's I think he'd take? still make money. You know why? why? Because the, the people that consume his content the most don't care about sexual that's harassment. That's it, they don't care about it. So the cancel culture, I don't think is relevant. I'm not that saying that it's going to I don't believe that it is relevant just gave me a in the segue. But I do think that maybe eventually, you know, with the younger generation coming up, literally living on what like again we all live on western media let's mm -hmm. think it is bound to seep in and i have seen it seep in in certain parts mm -hmm. i mean the whole like the, the 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 that poor 17 year old rapper who got bashed by the feminists of bhutan or whatever and mm -hmm. like yeah i'm not saying that what he said was great you know it's what not, did he say though he made a rap about women or something and, okay. and then like he, he said some really thing and like this, there was this page called Feminist to Bhutan or whatever and then they like, you know, like demanded an apology from him and all that stuff. But then at the end of the day, I'm like, you know what, like it's his freedom of speech to say whatever the fuck he wants. And as long as, I honestly feel that as long as they're not going and like, you know, making your life miserable and they're not getting in the way of stuff. I don't believe that, you know, um, you, you we, we should censor people because, you know, they just said something. Because I, unless, until and unless they're going out and like actually like, you know, stopping you from doing shit or telling people not to, like, for example, if I tell, if I call Dawa an asshole, he can't say anything against it, right? Because it's a freedom of speech. But if I go to, to let's say Dawa's, whoever he works with, and I tell them, don't hire him because he's an asshole, then that is where, yes, he has the thing. But just for calling you an asshole, I'm like, nah, man, like, all that, all that, all that crap, it's kind of stupid. I think what you're saying is, uh, you believe in tactics. Yeah, Be choosing your battles, as my friend Kesam would say it. Well, because, uh, what's it, you could agree with any 
you could agree with any cause you want, but mm. the problem is because it's not like you're not against these things that these what that yeah, I mean, like, was yeah, fighting for. Yeah, I'm not against it. I'm not against like if any women I, being treated equally and all that sort of stuff. I'm not against that. If anything, you're for it, right? Yeah, but then I'm <laughs> against this whole idea of sh- telling people that. Right, so maybe that yeah. distinction. This is my yeah. truth, and if you don't believe it, then you're wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that, that's, that, yeah, that, 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 that's my freedom of speech cannot trump someone else's freedom of speech. Yeah. That's fucked up. How can you say that I'm offended and I demand that you do not say that? How can you use your freedom of speech to, to shut down someone else's freedom, freedom of speech? Uh, okay, okay, what you think? How about racist uh, speech? Uh, racist uh, speech, this is what I've always told well, people. It's nice to understand the context. And after that, use it if you want to use it. I will not use it. You know, I will not use it. And I will also not be the asshole. I'm not going to go and beat the shit out of you if you well, want to use I, it. Do you think it's fair if I say something racist and I go to jail for it? Well, I think we kind of need it. Otherwise, we'll run out of content. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> for example, if we, if we stop everyone from saying it, then we'll forget about it. And then it will soon fade from memory. Racism? Racism solved. But then, the but then it'll world. come back again. See, I don't see. We won't know how to tackle it. If you said something racist, yeah, okay. but that was a joke, and, by the way, and you went to jail, yeah. I probably be, I would be against it. Because, because it's your freedom of speech. yeah, it's your freedom of speech to say it. Yes, I understand that hate speech is a thing, right? Yeah. But now, if you said something like, let's say, you know, these people, whoever they are, who, let's say whatever group of people you're okay. racist towards, they should not be allowed to come into our country, whether legally or not. They should not get jobs. They should not get rights. Okay. Then I'll be like, yeah, now you probably do because you're inciting other people to do that same thing. Man. What the? All right, but now this is where... Well, it's freedom of speech. Okay. Still, I'm no. free to say it. Mm-hmm. Maybe like you said, freedom of consequence. Inciting riots is what I'm trying to say. Oh, no. you should incite okay. a riot. Wait, wait. But shouldn't we sympath- be sympathetic towards this hypothetical side? Because maybe, you know, he's not a real racist at heart. He just grew up in a super racist environment. Oh my God, we're getting really... Too now what? Now what? Now, now, do, now, do now do we go like, oh, poor side, let's not cancel you. Let's actually help you. I'm not talking about cancel. I'm talking about Ill, criminal. Am I a criminal if I say, like, let's say... Right, uh, right. But people like, are you on? See, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't but have you? big noses and they're not nice looking. No, but I'm just saying, like, can we really blame you for these things now? Because, you know... You lived in an environment that made you this way. You didn't. Okay, I'm not saying you don't blame me. I'm saying to be one. I'm not saying you, you can blame me or not. I'm saying mm. now if you put me in jail, is that right? I'm saying. Oh well, uh, that's why I'm saying now it's time for society to reflect and be like, well, do we really want to send this man to jail because you know he didn't choose to be violent? But then again, again, uh, you can't you 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 can't tell who created. I mean, if it's in the law and if that is and if that is in the law. That saying racist things would get you in jail, then firstly, that's a really fucked up law. But in yeah, England, no, England they, they jail somebody who says some racist speech. Well, I mean, now becomes the line. Yeah, that's way, right. like, I don't understand racist. it. I'm not trying to say that I would know everything about it, but I feel like. I think we're going back to that yeah. topic of freedom, the men are there. Yeah. Whether you're talking about freedom or no, like, yeah. you can go to ext- extremes if you have yeah. the freedom of to drink it. Then. Mm-hmm. So, freedom right. of good speech and freedom of bad speech as well. Then. Because Some my thing words. is. Uh, if a person wants to be racist, they can be racist verbally, mm-hmm. uh, like action-wise. If they are going to go and like you know, right, but, where you, but where do you draw the line now? Like when That's is something fish. considered racist? Because I just made a bunch of comments about how Asian culture tends to hold back innovation. Right? Mm-hmm. Is that racist? You could be perceived because, as racist. Uh, because I'm, it's I'm like thinking very me saying that. It's a very subjective. I think if you said Asians are innovative, that's racist. But Asians are brought up in a certain way which doesn't give us. No, I, th- no I, I think that. Then that is not I think that perception could totally depend on what I look like right now. Yeah. How I would like when I said that the yeah. first time. If I call you a chink. That's not racist because I'm also chinky. I guess, yeah. <laughs> that's how black people can say the N word. Eh? Because hey, I, I can say it because I'm that person too. <laughs> Uh, I forgot there's the Asian. Sorry, there's a mosquito. I yeah. killed it. Yes. Okay, great violence. Which is the only type of genocide I am for? Mosquitoes. Mosquitoes, mosquitoes can die. Mosquitoes are the biggest killer in the uh, world of human history. I think. I think. Yeah. yeah. They even killed Alexander the Great. Really? He got malaria. Yeah. Oh shit. That's why he stopped right at India. Or at least that's the story of her. Okay. So segue to that segue. Last topic. A oh, freaking I, leopard attacked in Trongsayo. What kind of news is that? A leopard attacked or a leopard attacked? A leopard attacked. A, a leopard in Trongsayo broke into a house and attacked two men. 
did this. And five days later, he returned. The leopard? Yeah, and then two days later, they saw a tiger. What's happening, Trosa? What is happening? Well, look on the silver lining at least. I Trosa's have a theory. biodiversity I have a theory. is best. Yes, good. See, because we've preserved so many of our trees, right? They think the village is a part of their forest, and that's why they're coming. But I'm just like. That's why you need to cut <laughs> down more trees. trees. You never read this news anywhere. You know, like, first of all, a leopard in of, in of itself attacking two random people in Trosa is a. Crazy news, okay? But then the fact that the leopard returned, okay? And then two days later, a tiger showed up in Trongsa. Okay, maybe they're friends, maybe they're friends. Like, they were at the local watering hole and they were like, yo, I, saw, I found this place. The guys in the Bad people, bad you know, people. Yo, know, they, they, they stand on two legs, they can't run very fast. You know, I think you that's, lying. A, that's a quick you snack. Right? No, shut up, no, 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 no. You lying. No, no. You lying. No. <laughs> I gotta see this for myself, cause I'm not lying. Man, if we had more time, that was something I was gonna bring up. That was gonna be like probably a very mature, very thirty-minute long conversation. Or what? No. I, Speaking of, sorry, uh, to correct, just bring it up then. Because we already up like one one hour, yeah, 20 fifteen minutes, minutes. One hour. 20 oh, uh, minutes. just to quickly, minutes. just to quickly add on to your checking the time. Yeah, it was like one hour, fifteen yeah, minutes. Yeah, yeah. In just another to quickly add minutes, to your leopard. Check. Um, few years ago, I remember reading the news where I think. A bear had broken into some dude's house, uh -huh. drank a bottle of Black Mountain, <laughs> and then the guy woke up in the morning and let the bear like passed out on his. And I was like, huh? <laughs> At least I'm glad that the bear, all it did was drink Black How Mountain. How did he get to the Black Mountain? He could smell it. It smells good. Oh, it smells like honey, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Sweet, right? Because it's rum. So it could be Do honey. you not sell Black Mountain in women? Yeah, no. Oh, no. Mm. What are you gonna say? Let's see if it's worth like the. All right, it's kind of a mature topic. topic. All right, it's kind of a mature topic, okay. uh, and I'm not really asking an opinion or answering anything. I'm just sharing this, like conundrum. Okay. So, uh, you know, like in certain parts of Bhutan, we have this thing called what night crawling, uh, night, night hunting, hunting. night hunting, <laughs> right? Night hunting. Uh, the night crawling comes after. So for people, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. So so people people that don't know what this practice is is like, you uh, know, maybe you should explain it. Uh, people better. come knock on your doors in the villages, and then they'll allow the man to come in, and then they have sex. Yeah, basically. With the girl. girl. It depends if. You or sometimes, <laughs> sometimes the guy crawls through the window and then has his way with the girl, right? Yeah. Something like that. Okay, so what is your right? Uh, if you go to these villages sometimes, uh, sometimes the girls, and you know, like, let's call it for what it is, it's kind of rape, right? It is rape. It, it's, no, no, it's rape. No, no, no. I have a take on this. Okay. All right, but I mean, it's basically rape. Like, Dude, a guy, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like a guy like barges into your house and then he just sleeps with you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's there's a, nothing you can do about it's it. It's a misconception. Of what, 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 what are you getting at? All right. Uh, apparently, if you ask these women, how did they feel or whatever, they don't care. They, they think it was a funny thing that happened to them. And usually their biggest complaint of the night is that the guy may have like broken something or like torn a piece of clothing or something. But that concept of being raped and being violated doesn't exist in okay. these remote areas. So yeah, maybe that. Do the same thing like how they have sex with uh, underage girls. This is where I'm saying again, like this is because the during the first episode, if you remember, I told you that there are certain cultural beliefs that we have which we hold on to very rigidly and that is why a lot of people would not cons of course maybe those days they didn't think of it as rape now it is because you're technically firstly it's breaking and entering you're entering yeah. somebody's house and consent like 50 no's and one yes is not consent you know like just cause the girl like even if the girl said no 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 and at the end she says yes it is still not consent because you technically would have... Right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying here. No, uh, so how do you get dates with girls? They don't say no a hundred times. They say no, they say yes, you will counter that. Mm. Yeah. Anyways, uh, I, I, no, the reason I brought that up is like, so hypothetically, this yeah. is just a thought experiment. I'm not trying to like, okay, have a conclusion or whatever. Okay. okay. Uh, so basically, I mean, like we all agree that was basically rape, right? Yeah. Uh, well, I have another take. All right, all right. You can have your take later. Would it be better if we, let's say, brought in that concept of rape to this village and then made her feel like a victim and then now maybe the guy goes to jail but now the girl feels really bad because she thinks something horrible happened to her? Yeah. I do you think that's better or do you think it's... 
we should leave them as they in, are. In order for the village to grow and become more progressive, then maybe the, the, your take is good. But if you want to be harmonious, yeah, but why? Is that a word? But why? Harmonious? No, but why be progressive? Harmonious. If the village is working just fine the way yeah, as it is. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If they want, if you just want to keep it like that, but they'll be like that forever. But they won't like you know change their thought process and everything. Right, but what gives you? Right, right, but what gives you the right to is it, But this kind of works only though if it works. It's it, it only works if that village is willing to stay isolated and never let any one of their people come out into the other parts. Because let's say you don't interfere and you don't tell them that it's rape and whatever, right? Yeah. And then they keep doing that for generations. What happens when these people leave the village and come to the thing? Because to them, in their head, that's not rape. Right. And then suddenly they come to modern society. Uh, not modern society. And you know that all stuff happens, actually. Yeah, it does. And then, then, because you never took the initiative to sort of lay it out to them that this is rape and that this is how... Right, right. Generationally, it would make sense or whatever. Mm. But... Yeah, I mean, just think of the initial person. Do you think... Because what if they start feeling really bad about themselves now and then, like, their whole... It's like the red pill, blue pill pills. scenario there. Would you like to take the red pill and just live in your ignorant harmony? Would you I'm take just the saying, that I, 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 I just chill? don't see, like, a very cut and dry way about I say it. give her the blue pill. Let us see what the world is really is. I don't know, I'm just saying, but yeah, these are thoughts that... Like, Balta, you I'm might like, take, okay? Uh, these are some shower thoughts, maybe, some paradoxical. So, apparently, my aunt, she did some research on this, and it's actually started from the word, not night hunting, but night courtship. So, yeah. villages are very small, and everyone knows, basically, everyone yeah, knows yeah. each other. So, when they work in the fields, they'll know their names, okay? And then they'll, like, they'll see there's a connection. And since the village is, like, not very upfront, like, you know, like, how we are, we'll say, hi, I like you, blah, blah. What they'll do is they'll say, like, where do you live? And then, then if she says, I live here, it's kind of like a green signal, you know? So they know each other, like, a little bit. So then when they come in, they say, talk, 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 they knock. Who is it? It's me. Then she let them in lower there. And then they have that moment where they can be in private and do whatever they want. So pain is like a date for village people because they're very conservative and they don't want to, like, say it. Mm. So pain, that's what I heard, okay? So, but if your random person comes in and says, let's have sex, I don't think they're going to let him do it. Because my, I had a friend in high school, mm. he actually did this, he went back to his village in the winter break, and he had worked. Because I don't know this, this side of it. Uh, I, I don't know this side of it. That may have been the original yes. thing, by so the way. So, that's something. My friend, he went back to the village, and he met one girl, when he was working in the fields, like, like they do in the village. And then he met a girl, and he said, like, okay. And then, like, he found a kind of connection. So he said, like, he told to his, uh, you know, like, relatives, he said, oh, that means it's, it's, she's giving, like, she's interested. Why didn't you go? He was nervous, so he went to her door, and he said, who is it? And he said, like, it's me. And she's like, oh, okay. And then she opened the door, and then they did the shabang bang over there. It wasn't like some random guy comes in and rapes you and just leaves in the end of the night, and you don't know who the father is. All right, well, I've maybe heard not always. stories. Maybe not always. That's what I'm saying. I think initially it was like this. Then maybe people got to the point, they said, oh, in the village, they just knock on. And Screw That's it. how you get all these koktis and all in the villages. But I mean, yeah, no, but I've heard other stories. Maybe. No, That's but, what I'm assuming. No, but I've heard stories where it wasn't as nice, where it was just like, it was That's just what I'm saying. Maybe it started like right? how I went. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then it became the people started thinking, oh, we can just, you know, get late if we just knock right. on these doors and barge in and no one's going to say anything. Right. So maybe it started like that, meant like, it's supposed to be like how it meant. But then it kind of morphed into this. Thing. And in a lot of the cases, it is obviously, un- if that is like the random people coming in, mm-hmm. a lot of the times, let be honest, um, even now, we still blame the victim for a lot of the things yeah. for this. So it's kind of obvious that sometimes no one would think of it as rape because the girl would not want to come out about it. Yeah. And because obviously, even if the girl doesn't want to do it and they end up doing it, the girl's obviously going to be scared about the fact that they are going to get judged for it, right? Yeah. And right. victim blaming isn't something that, that's gone away. It's still there. Yeah. I mean, we still have people, like, you just have to read the bloody comment section to certain things and you realize... How people shame victims. How, how, shame how victims. people shame victims. Yeah. So I think you have to be brave, you know. Because they say you have to be brave to come out because you're going yeah. to get that hate and that, that shame, yeah. you know. But then, then you grow from it rather yeah, than... Yeah, and a lot of the times, I'm sorry, but I don't know, it's but not... That's it's what not, I'm saying. Yeah, like, it's not just... With that original yeah. thing, do you introduce that or not? Because... Like I said, it's my take is yeah, give them the blue pill. Alright. Red pill or blue pill, kill I don't know. Orange? Because, <laughs> no, because, like, I've seen what he said happen because uh, maybe you know this is kind of a famous story out here. Yeah. There was a guy who brought in this other guy that they met during desuk training mm-hmm. uh, over, and he was from a village. This guy's from the city, uh, and he thought he'd just show the village guy what it's like to be in the city and everything. But this guy got really handsy with this one girl, and this guy 
could not like understand the situation that the girl gets to say no out here and you know the girl yeah, gets to like when you, when you oh, I do the show. Yeah. yeah it really and then when like, the guy tried it. to stop the other guy and then the other guy got mad that he was trying to stop him from harassing the girl and then some other shenanigans ensued but yeah that, that's what like he said I've never seen that happen so yeah, it's happened because anyway you, that's you a lot of headache you, for you, our you audience you can't leave it as a bubble, bubble right like, I don't think it's correct to leave it as a bubble as well then should we also make contact with those islander people you know this like that one re- well the, if you uh, want to die sure go right ahead who me die or they die yeah, actually, yeah, that's, true. that's a good context we leave these guys alone they're happy in their own you know cannibalistic ways or whatever we don't know because we, we, we never made contact. We never made contact. We don't know if they are cannibals. So should we just not make contact with them? See, uh, see now. See, I, here's here's the thing. Now we no. get into the questions that no one can answer. But here's the thing: Where have we seen those islander people leave and come to other people's society? They are happy to stay in that bubble. Right. But if we do that with people, let's say in the rural areas, they have to also be. It only works if they are content to stay within that bubble. If they want to leave and then bring these things, then it's going to be a problem. So you will not take the red pill, then? You will take, take the red pill? I don't know what I would... I don't yeah, know. Yeah, someone came to you. No, but I'm that's more, the... I'm, sorry, I'm, that's I'm the I'm problem. Morpheus. I am Morpheus. No, I'm sorry, that's the killer. problem. You've this isn't about alive. getting an answer. You've been living about, a lie, Kinle. No, you've been living a lie. No, you can't see. You just... You've been blinded this whole time. No, I'm sorry. It's you who doesn't see. It's not about being right or wrong. It's about how confusing this is. And how many questions come out from it. It is confusing, but I'm just saying, Kinle. the moral dilemma. But I, I all the conundrums. That's that's the thing with these sort of questions, you know. It's okay to it's say I don't know. One. Okay, now I know what's going to be in the bag. It's going to be Morpheus with the blue pill and the red pill. This episode is going to go, 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 go Wait, call. maybe you could Photoshop me doing this. <laughs> <laughs> Just Photoshop me doing this. <laughs> red pill or blue pill? Wait, hold, do you have a hold, you... hold that thumb pill. Thumb thumbnail. Wait, wait, hold on. Should I stand up like this? <laughs> <laughs> no, but then I think that's the thing. Wait, make sure you put the sunglasses I, I, on. I honestly don't there. know in this situation. Okay, so yeah, can, exactly. Can that's can the I, thing. I don't know. Kinle, either. like always, chooses to be agnostic. Uh, what is your take now? I don't have enough life experience or know-how hmm. to know better. Yeah, but but in this but I, context, I choose blue pill. Right. I, I, only, choose, I only brought it up because truth, I think it the, challenges us the, a the, lot. The bitter truth is better than the sweet lie. Right. right now we're neither saying that it's a sweet lie or a bitter truth. We're just saying that we don't know in this situation. Okay, right, but which that was is the whole point. Yeah. Is just think about it and see how like there's so many concessions yeah. you have to make in your own mind. Mm. You know, it's difficult to think about because it's like so many moving parts and you're okay. like, huh, maybe I don't know enough about with, the world. With this question, we shall leave the audience. Right. Yeah. Red pill or blue pill? Comment on the below. Uh, as always, Comment here's me, the below. Below. Comment on the below. trying to figure out all the answers to the world's life, life, problems. Life. Every time I'm I like here. that you don't think about my eye problem as an issue that you should Wait. be solving. Your about. eyes? It's fine, it's fine. Your eyes? It's, a, your it's easy. Eyes, they tell me how much you care. <laughs> <No one. laughs> okay. Your eyes, they're easy okay. to fix. CRISPR. Okay, what was it? Ah. Okay, anyways, uh, yeah. uh, 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 all, all the social links are down in the description, including uh, me, Kinles, and Dao's uh, Instagram socials. Uh, please stay tuned for more episodes. We are quite busy these days. We want to post as uh, regular as we used to. Yeah, we've been a little uh, occupied with some uh, Samu-related. And work. we'll be doing a giveaway in thanks to our 1,000 subscribers celebration on Instagram. We just haven't figured out what. Uh, we'll, we'll do something. No. Please. No. And uh, oh, we'll do no. that. And I, I think this episode is long, so long enough without any parting words. What? Oh, uh, um, uh, red pill, blue pill? <laughs> Viagra. Uh, bye. <laughs> what about you, Kinder? Red pill, blue pill? And scene. Purple pill. And scene. Take the purple pill. Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs>